And welcome back to Tales of Zephonia Part 25. Six. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blend together after a while, I guess. Yeah, I suppose so. All right, that. What's going on in this part? Okay. We now have to hurry along to Tateala Bridge. Can't you read? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> Twenty minutes on red light, green light. Never forget. <laughs> Man, how did you fuck up with a child? <laughs> you know what? Fuck you. Yeah. Wait you do that shit yourself, all right? Then you're going to be growing no, up. No, you see, I had the advantage of learning what not to do in a game of red light, green light. Oh, Johnny, believe you me, it goes beyond fucking up in red light, green light. There's those little demon kids. I know, but will be able to look out for Point Dexter. Point Dexter? Ugh. By the way, I forgot to have a random in the party here, but they're all the same monsters we already fought. And I spun in here because I'm a tool. I gave uh, the main. Oh, yeah, right I'm up the, the pooper. Mages. I leave for say a poison because I think it's going to give me Colette's Oblivious title, and that doesn't work. Yeah, you gotta, gotta straighten up that immune system. For say it's cool with it. She's like, for say, are you all right? Eh. <laughs> Let's necklace rice. I love Zalus. <laughs> I love Zalus though so for the whoring. I really fucking do. Because with him in the party, you never have to really shop in an item shop again. You just gotta get lucky with Jiggle for an hour. <laughs> Oh god, she's Fee now. <laughs> Fee, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's an eighty percent chance we might win. She's crump. Yeah. <laughs> what what? <laughs> Our victory chances of winning uh, forty three percent. <laughs> fucking virtual world. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was a dumb work. I went out equipping the uh, personal skill here. That's right, because I'm taking a. F I think if you like, just do a <laughs> all that damn room. gigoloing <laughs> makes you forget your priorities. Watch out, man whore coming through. <laughs> oh, this guy smells like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> no way he can smell that shit. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this makes the bridge run entertaining, I'll tell you that. Space herpes gets you laughing? No, <laughs> no, this makes the space bridge entertaining, I'll tell you that. Okay. <laughs> Man, what a nose, though. <laughs> you can smell the herpes on him. <laughs> anyway. Man, this is a really fucking long bridge. Right, I'll cut this out in future playthroughs if, if we're getting back on this bridge at any point. Ironically enough, after this, we can do a quick jump. What? <laughs> For plot reasons, I guess they were the way to feel it. Yeah. What's the point of... Oh, I see. Yeah, that's the erasing mechanism. Oh, shit. Damn. Hey, actually, I just thought of Final Fantasy V. Wait, what? The battle like, on the big bridge? Yeah, which is on the second world that you go to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to actually incorporate that for the red, yeah. the red light, green light? Yeah, I think it <laughs> I could probably do that, yeah. Thank you. Man. Now we have to try to make the jump. Yeah, I'll do it in the uh, second round. All right. Red light, green light. Fuck! What? Collect! <laughs> <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> Why well, didn't we just tie a rope on I am collect! These are the good. <laughs> Thankfully, we got that water spirit. <laughs> well, the hydro pump up the ass. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the mist from Undini. Thank you. Undini. Undini. <laughs> Houdini. <laughs> Houdini. No damage detected. Whew. I thought I was gonna die. What trick phony, though, with just the water? Yeah. yeah. I'm sure glad I was able to summon her. Doot doot. <laughs> that looks so fucking wrong. Like, I'm sorry, that looked really stilted like they just dragged the yeah. mouse cursor over. It's, it's like, um, um you know, <laughs> Batman Beyond, yeah. when Superman had that alien life form attached to him, and he was just flying towards the ship, but he never, like, no, no he was flying like this the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> now we fight the Papal Knights. They have a resistance to physical attacks, but you can still wreck their ship pretty easily. I don't have rain here, so I kind of cheese with the magic lens. I'll fight him again, so that's no, har no harm from a foul for me. I don't have, I'm not sure if I have any lightning quartz, though, so I had to kind of make do with what I got here. Hurricane Thrust will do wonders here as well, because it'll also give her the... It'll also pierce their armor and do one damage. 
You know, the idea of a, of a robotic Colette that still knows Item Rover just seems hilarious. Yeah, she just has to go, oops. Yeah. But the fact that a, a, a lifeless angelic being is an absolute plot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can still trip, yeah. She's not even on her feet! <laughs> That's about as bizarre as a ghost tripping in a Mario Party game. I've seen it. I've seen it too, that's what I'm questioning. <laughs> now for some meat! <laughs> oh, this fucking stew. Lloyd, everyone. Adder. You came to rescue us. You're surprised? Of course. You're our friends. Well, Rain's my friend. Genus is. Genus. So, what's your point? I like that Lloyd's ignorance here really tunes oh, him out to the whole discrimination angle. I like that. What about the Tefeola half of our group? Do you mind if we join up with you? No, Apparently, they're setting off a whole lot of. I, 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 wouldn't even, I wouldn't even call it ignorance. It's just he doesn't. Really, he really doesn't give a fuck. Right. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I can't say I'm really kosher. With <laughs> That's a Jewish term. Then again, Where's the Jews? <laughs> saying that I'm a descendant of angels. So in a way, we're a lot alike. Where's the juice? Yeah. <laughs> Matt just realizes what he said. <laughs> Somebody opens you up. asked that, it's like the old lady, where's the beef? Yeah, exactly. Like, where, where's the juice? That's <laughs> Crucious Christ. What is this game doing to us? So Mizuo is playing both sides of that conflict. Perse gives no fucks. And Zealous is... Zealous is kind of like... A person. Zealous is really good to have a different perspective, though. At this point, I'm okay. In other words, Zealous is going against the education he had, and now he's being forced to travel with half elves. So now he's going to grow himself and see what what the real big deal is to hating them or not. Yeah, yeah. Sheena. Sheena. Please insert Gerda. <laughs> Shouldn't we go get the Riards first? Either way, Volt's temple is on the other side of the Grand Tetheala Bridge. It'll temples, that's right, folks. There are four the temples here. Oh, on. boy. Once, you want to know what their elements are? Same as, uh... No. no. The exact opposite of what we've had over at Tethayala. Uh, Silver Hunt. Bless, bless me. Yeah. So instead of Ifrit's Fire, we get the Ice one, Celsius. Instead of Self, we get the Earth, Gnome. Instead of the Water, Undini, we get the Lightning, Volt. Instead of the Light, Luna, we get the Dark, aptly named, Shadow. Ooh, the dark shadow. I can't believe we're gonna have to climb that mountain again. Yeah. I can't either. Luckily, we're editing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you can't edit that one, though, because they got a... No. Fu new Fuji Mountain has new encounters. Demons. Yeah. Encounters. Bless you. Anyway, now we get to do, learn about half-elves in Tethayala. Lloyd's ready to go wreck his shit. What, are you gonna discriminate against him, too? They have all been, they have been educated this way since birth, apparently. Something you just don't drop immediately, I'd imagine. Yeah. Like, we're told that, um... I don't know. We're told that, uh... Pepsi's good for us, but it kills people in Ethiopia. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really, really, really awful analogy, <laughs> but... Extreme as it was, it kind of gets the point, you know? It's like, everything works this way for a wonderful thing, and then you realize, oh, this actually fucks us up. Yeah, Pepsi's good when you're ten. Zealous, Zealous brings up the good point though. No, that's what just that prejudice really is. Racism or prejudice really is. It's like is when you know scary. better but you don't care. Or discrimination and hatred. That's so what's the deal with the sorceress? Sorceress is an advanced mage, just like what we fought earlier. They'll do low-level magic, but apparently they'll do higher-level shit, which I don't know about. Because like I said, I'm not familiar with the HD version of the the HD PS2 version. Or unless they do it in the GameCube version, because I'm only familiar with hard. Damn, it's time to run the fucking back. <laughs> that was just <laughs> <up>. <laughs> <laughs> no. We're all fine for what we are, unless I choose to go into Mel Tokyo to whore. Unfortunately, I don't. But I do. Oh, I do. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Switch over to make a fruit cocktail for a while, because that's good for TP. I think. Nope. Seafood stew. But I'm going to have a Sheena cook it for a while. And it fucked up. 
You can tell you fuck up cooking in the menu if you just see like ellipses. See an exclamation point? You made it success. successfully. Successfully. <laughs> successfully. Successfully. Successfully clean. Fuji, by the way. Yeah. Hey, Fuji, yeah. It's <laughs> about phonetically. Yeah. Fuji. <laughs> They're so clever. They are winning. <laughs> Talk about the mountain Fuji. Huh? Hmm. I'll call it by decline of man, or maybe the worker Crucius. Monsters? Crucius. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're about to find out. Yeah. So let's climb the mountain again. Yeah. So the encounters are different than when the the fights you have when you're going down the mountain. Yeah, have Colette and Rain on standby for this one because a lot of them are going to be dark, dark affiliated. So the light magic's the way to go. There's Raging Beast, but I realize I haven't used Beast a whole lot, so I got like 33 times to cast Beast before I get Raging Beast. <laughs> uh, what does Beast do though? You never really. Use no, it's it. a knockdown tech. Oh, okay. Killed him. I think every time you see like a little bright circle go on while I'm not fighting an enemy. Yeah. Either that's for say finding food or Sheena helping me avoid an encounter. Chimeras, they like to cast fire magic. Particularly, I think fireball and maybe eruption, I think. Here's the thing though, because I hear it's a lot of tomato tomato pronunciation with the Chimera. Like, I've heard. Chimera and Chimera. Chimera, Chimera, Shimera. Shimera is. I never heard of that one. Yeah. I don't think Shimera is proper unless if it's anybody a has, If anybody has any clarity in the comments, I appreciate that. It depends that. where you go to speak it, though. Like, Yeah, I know, but that's all my... I just want to make sure none, none of it's just flat out fucking wrong, you know? I'm pretty sure Shimera is wrong, but then again, I could be wrong on that. Oh, shit. A lot of repeats there. Yeah. Found the food, <laughs> beat the shit out of something, and we're all out of seafood too. So now it's going to be uh, risotto. So, so finding food, that's a, a per se ability, does it just happen randomly? Yeah. Just walk around on the field and then she'll pick up something off the ground and eat it. <laughs> this gravel's delicious. Be... Demon! What the fuck? They're, they're potent and they got some defense to them, but you can easily stun lock them, so they're no threat. They're also weak to the uh, Ogre Blade that I'm rocking with Lloyd, so... They'll tend to do that stomp for three or four times, but you can easily block it. It don't do much. Oh shit. Looks like Colette's about to cast something major. Nope, just Angel, Angel Feathers. feathers. <laughs> We're just gonna assume it hit the other one over there. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Zealous is wielding the uh, Aqua Blade, which is basically a water sword. Awful. But, you know, if you ever meet enemies that resist water, take that shit off. Fuji! <laughs> Anything you want to talk about? No, because we're already here. No, I mean, like, any yeah. other topics you're thinking of? Uh, no, not at the moment. I'm really just along for the ride, Matt. Okay. I still haven't learned Raging Beast. I got Demonic Thrust, though. Le Lloyd starts learning, like, the uh, Link techs at this point. Basically, they're level 3, but he'll do two techs at once. Like, for, like, roughly, I think, double the amount of TP, though, so I really don't care about it too much. I never really use them unless it's, uh... Tempest Thrust, Tempest Tiger Blade, or Raining or uh, so Raining Tiger Blade, which I do use, admittedly. I try to make sure everybody's ready to go for the next battle. I have to be. Sh I think I fuck up once because I don't have a. Nope, I'm good. Sorry. There's the reards. And a cutscene. Hey, Zillow. How are we going to carry this? Oh, I'll show you. Come over here for a sec. What the shit? This sound effect's fucking grating in the issue <laughs> release. Yeah, tell me about it. It's just... This... What? <laughs> he just called you a fool. Oh, that's what he called me. I couldn't hear him over this obnoxious shield. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm so sad now. Oh, are you? Oh, are you? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I am so furious. You can't see it, but I'm shaking an angry fist at you. Damn. What is he, my stalker? Uh oh. Oh. Her. You got a gigolo her too? Yeah, right? 
Lord Ewan. I think I've seen that lady somewhere before. I should ask you the same, Pronima. Remember Gavar's little screen? Mm -hmm. That's her. I have come here on Lord Yggdrasil's order to retrieve Colette. Please turn her over to me. Now, is that something Fine. that she has to dress, or are those actual, like, blades around her? Those are just, like, shoulder pauldrons. Yeah. So not as weird wears them to in Persona 3. So, please do as you wish, my lord. She's a mage. Colette, don't go. <laughs> a futile effort. Your words cannot reach a chosen who has lost her soul. Her soul's just sleeping. Shut up. <laughs> I'm Colette. Please insert Gerder. <laughs> That's gonna be like a fucking recurring gag with this one, isn't it? How pathetic. I shall remove this ugly thing at once. Meanwhile, her soul woke up. Or by dumb fluke. No! And there goes my favorite part of the game. That gave me? She oh, talks. Fuck. What? Are you back to normal? Huh? <laughs> what? Why is everyone inside that thing? Impossible. There's yeah, no seriously. Pitiful Pete Crest could restrain the Crucius Crystal. Hey, you know what? Fuck you, Ewan. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Lloyd. What has happened? Still, in the end, it is but a worthless bauble. It shall last long. Now, come with me. <laughs> it's sharp lasts for long. Sharp? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> and she somehow broke the trap. I oh, oh, it's a good thing she stumbled outside of the damn trap. Oh, no. Yeah, right. Somehow. Right. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think it's just short fused. Yeah, it's like, it just cannot believe the clumsiness of Colette. Volt didn't power it enough. <laughs> it runs on double A's. Double volts. Double volts. <laughs> Nine volts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I couldn't say anything. But I was going to die anyway. But I would thank you anyway instead. And I'm sorry. It's okay, don't worry about oh, Christ. it. <laughs> Behind you. You impudent. Prepare to die. Well, fuck me. <laughs> As I slowly approach you. <laughs> Excuse me, she don't walk. <laughs> Boss battle time. Pronima. For making a fool of me. She actually uses dark magic, like acid rain, which lowers everybody's defense for a little bit. Dark Sphere is a black colored po photon for what it's worth. Okay. Agorazium uppercuts you. If uh, Leonasium is the beast from uh, the beast tech. I try to switch around some tactics over here because I realized I was like, wait, Zell's is doing magic. I need him on the front lines. Does Tethi Ally also have different boss music too? No, this is the uh, design boss thing. Oh, okay. Pretty good too. It kind of has a western feel to it. Pornima hates light magic. She'll just clock you with the club, too. <laughs> Ow! That pimp cane. The what? The pimp cane, Matt. Yeah. The pimp stick. The pimp stick. <laughs> Ice Tornado. That's Lysi, but thankfully it's only area, so you can easily try to evade it quick enough. And meanwhile, Colette fucking missed like a champ. Oops. Ow! The Onasium? The Onasium is basically the beat. Remember Beast? Yeah. The lion itself, the only the lion part of that comes out, but it's pretty much her knockback tech. I thought she was getting something in her, like a pocket. <laughs> like, oh, I got something for you. <laughs> I got something to buy for a pocket for you. <laughs> I disabled his first day because I got ringed for that. I just need him to fucking come out here and start hurting. Damn it! Too late. Meanwhile, you know, with two of us on the on the front <laughs> burner and two light mages in the back, she ain't shit. It's kind of stressful though, what, like Colette re reciting the angel prayers to cast these spells. I have judgment. I don't want to take the risk on that. I try to steal, but uh, doesn't quite work out for me. What can you steal from her? I don't know. You can't steal from bosses. I just can't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is why I hate stealing without the um. Swing and a miss! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I got a one of those plants. <laughs> I think we're getting to her. 
Ow! Nice. <laughs> Hit her when she's down. <laughs> Kick her, put her on the ground and stomp in her face. Stomp her in the nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Another perfect score. Well done. And Genus got Dreaded Wave, which is a pretty advanced Earth tech form. Which is really nice. This is the perfect opportunity. Ewan, I'm going to settle our score right now. Mm. Nope. <laughs> huh? Kratos. What the fuck is this attire? <laughs> what are you doing here? I went to Nomura accessories. Leave Do you like Lord. it? <laughs> Lord Yggdrasil has summoned you. Wait, 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 wait. You went you went with summoned by Yggdrasil? Are you taking the chosen? No. We shall leave it for now. It's the Toxicosis. I see. Lloyd, our battle will have to wait. Toodles. And apparently Ewan's one of the four seraphim. Yeah. He's an angel too? Working under your dress seal? Damn it, you wait, wait, why are they imposing your dress seal? What are you doing? Uh, so many what? damn conspiracies. <laughs> Everyone's got their own plans, and it's confusing as fuck. Except for Saya. <laughs> the relation of the two worlds vying for each other's mana will not change. Their positions have merely been reversed by the regeneration ritual. Has Tetheala begun to decline? Not really. The Tower of Salvation can still be seen from this world as well. As long as that exists here, it means that this world is still flourishing. Although in the event that the Chosen... No, wait a minute, why the hell could we see it in Silveron? Tetheala will surely bid farewell. <laughs> that I honestly don't know. I think... <laughs> I honestly don't know. Because it should have been like... Silveron shouldn't have been seen either. Really. Yggdrasil does not consider it twisted. <laughs> if you want to do something about it, use your own head. You just told Lloyd to use his head. Mistakes. Yikes. Indeed. Yeah, I'll do it. This stupid system of two worlds stealing mana from each other. I swear I'll change it. Go for it, kiddo. <laughs> I'll give it such a slap on the wrist. <laughs> you wouldn't fucking believe. See ya. Huh. Oh, she's still alive. Okay. Yeah, we ain't kill her yet. By the way, if you made it all the way to this point in the game without using one gel at all, you get the I Hate Gels title here. Nice. Do you know how far this was? Yeah, I know. It was like 6 to 17 hours in. Such a weird cutoff point, though. Oh, there's one that's worse. Gung Ho. Yeah, you, you remember you telling me that about an earlier You have to get the Rodile with a combined level less than 145. I'm damn near at 120 now. So basically, we're sleeping with eyes open. <laughs> thankfully, Persea can, um... Thankfully, Persea is... Creepy like that. Sweet. That's great. No, I'm starving! What's up for iced coffee? <laughs> <laughs> oh. hmm. Just like I thought. Is definitely cuter when she smiles. Let's see, your fellows. Oh, you remembered my name. We chosen have to stick together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Now well, that's absolutely oblivious to Zalus's plan, so you don't play, so you don't give a shit. No she don't care. To head immediately back to <laughs> the gigolo goes in one ear and out the other. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to search for a way to save both worlds in order to prevent any more chosen like Colette. Thanks for telling us that, Lloyd. I promised Sheena too. Colette. What about Persea? It's not fair to keep dragging her around like this. Persea don't care. <laughs> I want to go home. And Ben Girder. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to bring Persea to that Kate chick. Unfortunately, I doubt we can use the Grand Hefeola Bridge anymore. Now what? I have contacts in Maltokyo. Let's ask them for help. Okay. But we're wanted traitors. Can we even get into Mel Tokyo? Oh uh, no. Leave that to me. I know Mel Tokyo like the back of my head. All right. Oh look, I'm wearing a glove. <laughs> you got it. Oh, herpes. You can always count on me. <laughs> now my honeys, we're off to Mel Tokyo. Colette? What's wrong, Lloyd? Welcome back. 
Is there a mod where you can just, just like take out all the voice acting for? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you really hate it that much. Yes. <laughs> just, the, just, just, just the voice. Well, you know what? Let me look up Colette. Let me see if uh, she's in any other game that we might uh, recognize. Yeah, all we're doing here is just looking up items. By the way, I for say I'm wearing heavy boots. Heavy boots are one of the rare things where they don't explicitly show you on the status screens, but if you were to equip them, she'll slow down in battle speed, but she'll have a boost in defense, which I'm cool with. Okay, Colette is voiced by Heather Hogan. Okay. Brother! <laughs> and let's see, uh... She's the voice of Amy Sorrel in Soul Calibur 3. Okay. Uh, Miyuki Itsumi in Xenosaga Episode 3. What? Yeah, huh? Try again now. Is there anything you think of that I might know? Shiki Mizaki in The World Ends With You. She returns as Colette in Dawn of the New World. Much to her misfortune. Ah, she, uh, she returns to voice Shiki Mizaki in Kingdom Hearts 3D. And a lot of fighting games, Soul Calibur, Dead or Alive, Lunar, as Mia Us, uh, Aus, whatever. Alright, so in the meanwhile, we learned about a girl who lost her heart, and Colette's now looking at Perseia and feeling the guilt. And now we find out that we're alike, or at least Genus and Zealous. I don't like them anyway. Why are you coming along on our journey? How are you of the same lot? What do you mean? Eh, no one wanted us to be born. Ow! Damn. Zalos is the hardest one to see in, to get his special scenes, apparently. I thought it was Kratos. Turns out you just have less opportunities with Kratos, but Zalos is the hardest one. Zalos, though, you learn why, and it's like, holy shit, am I playing Tales of Zephonia or Neon Genesis Evangelion? <laughs> And Zell's finally just Gigolo to fucking monster. I think. And we gotta head back to Maltokyo. We'll never know. Yeah, we keep taking snapshots. It's like Fatal Frame. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently having context in Maltokyo is about the equivalent of just actually just going it's to Maltokyo. Yeah, networking. But we have to go to Maltokyo anyway. But that's not until next week, ladies and gentlemen. Matt, what can we expect? The game's obligatory sewer level. And then we're going to go to the Garachia Forest. And then we're going to meet Mystery Convict. Well, the Mystery Convict. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a B somewhere in there. No, okay. We'll see you guys then. Take care.